patterns, demonic patterns, but altars can break them. And I have an example from the world. The Bible recorded that God himself caused the ground for man's sake. So man began to struggle. But Enoah came out of the ark in Genesis 8. And Bible in verse 20 said he raised an altar. Do you know what happened in Genesis 9? The Lord came down and God reenacted the blessing that he put upon Adam. In other words, Noah, you are exempted from the curse. Somebody raise an altar to be exempted from the curse. You are going to raise an altar. I don't know the curse in your family, the negative marks. You are still going to hold your prayer partner and declare upon that person, every curse that is eating up your destiny, we raise an altar here and we break you from it. Turn that to power now somebody. Let Somebody as you are praying, your eyes will be seen. As you are praying, God will be showing you vision. He said, call unto me, and I will show eyes on you, and I will show you. God will begin to show you what to do. Your inner man is illuminated. Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. 